Magic is a way of life for many of us, and more and more people like to learn more about the subject and perform their own spells. Learning magic is a lifelong quest, but everybody can do it. It can help you become a better human being and if you live by its main principles you can make an impact on the universe and make it a better place to live. Message from the High Priest Message from the High Priest I am the lost bearded white brother and was born a long time ago in a cold faraway land. Though I was born in a Catholic family and was baptized such, at home we never really had a spiritual life. I even had an uncle who was a Catholic priest who passed away when I was still a child, and the only thing I really remember from him was his love of the good things in life like good wine and good food. It must have impressed me a lot, because that too has been a lifelong quest, but I digress. I started reading early, even before starting school. A few years later I was reading at least six books a week, and since that tender age I have been a voracious reader. Since I was very young I have always been interested in all things occult. The lack of any spiritual life at home, and my parents' lack of response to my many questions launched me into a lifelong quest to learn about the mysteries of life. My mother had some interests in the subject and I borrowed some of her numerous books on the subject, as I inherited my thirst for reading from her, and I started to search all of the resources that were available to me at the time. I read about the various organized religions, and became disenchanted with all of them. More and more I became interested in the core philosophies of most religions and how they can be applied to the way we act and live and to magic that can be used to better mankind. Though I still consider myself a Catholic by indoctrination, for year I have been practicing my own form of religion or better worded, my own beliefs based on all of those philosophies and religions I studied and on magic. It involves at its core a great respect for others and for nature, and the prime goal to live my life to its fullest and to better myself and mankind daily. Another interest passed on to my by my mother was that of archaeology. She always says that if she could redo her life, she would study this subject. When I was growing up there was a lot of interest in mysticism and in the ancient civilizations, especially the ones from Latin America. I remember reading about the great archaeological sites of those faraway warm climes, and dreaming about visiting there a day. As I always say if there is a wish, there is a way, I ended up moving to Mexico over 25 years ago after meeting a wonderful Mexican woman and marrying her. I always believed in the duality of the universe, for every yin there is a yang, for every man there is a woman, and for every cold place there is a warm one. I brought to this warm country my kind of magic that is rooted in the cold climes of northern Europe and have been avidly studying the local brand of magic that has its roots in indigenous spiritualism, in Spanish magic, and various other imported influences, especially the heavy one of the Catholic Church. I have taken from all of those influences the aspects that work with my beliefs and have been using this potent blend of magic to better myself and those next to me. I have also read a lot of indigenous legends pervasive in all of the old southern civilizations about the long-lost learned foreigner that will return in times of turmoil to bring spiritual help to the lands of the south. These current times are nothing but tumultuous and I assume the mantle of high priest to those who wish to follow me. I only promote goodness and harmony, and thus will only offer help to those seeking such. I plan to offer my magical powers to help those in need. To those who wish to do harm to others, to force others to do things against their will, or to gain things that are not theirs to get, please look somewhere else because I will never do that kind of work. To those in search of some spiritual direction, if you would please have a look at what my beliefs are. It is not a religion, and I do not want to organize it as such as with every organized religion comes dogma, and with dogma comes prejudice, and with prejudice comes lack of respect, and so on. Those basic principles are my beliefs, 
and if all passing through here can live a little more along those lines daily, the world would become a much better place to live in. I hope from the deepest part of my soul that such changes will happen and that the world will be better for it, even if only more one person follow parts of those simple beliefs. The Lost Bearded White Brother